Good morning. Today we're going to look at how to use the open number line for subtraction. So if we start with a question of 467 minus 212, in order to do the open number line, the first thing you need to do is you need to draw a line on your page. At the end of your page, because it's subtraction, we need to write the big number, which is 467. Then we need to go back and look at our question in the smaller number and break it apart into its expanded form, which is 200 plus 10 plus 2. And back to our number line, we look at 467. And we're going to be taking out and subtracting, starting with the largest number in our second number, which is 200. So first I'm going to take away 100, which is 367. And then I'm going to take away another 100, which is 267 because inside 200, there are two 100s. Now that I've taken away 200, I look at my next number, which is 10. 267, take away 10. We'll only change the tens digit, so 257. And I cross that off in my expanded form so I know I've taken it away. And now I need to take away 2. 1, 2. So my answer becomes 255. So the answer to 467 minus 212 equals 200 and 55. Okay, so now we're going to do another question with an open number line. We're going to look at 623 minus 278. Step number one is draw the number line. And go back and look at my question to determine which of the numbers is larger. So which number goes start on my number line? This is the larger number. It's the number that is first in a subtraction question. So it's going to go at the end of our number line at 623. Now I go back to the smaller number, which is 278, and I break it apart into its expanded form of 200 plus 70 plus 8. Now that I have it in expanded form, now I'm ready to start taking it away from that number, 623. So in my expanded form, I have two hundreds. So first I take away 100. Then I take away another 100. And I have 423. Cross off that I've taken away the 200, and now I have 70. 423 take away 70. That's not easy for my brain to do because it means that I'm going to have to jump over the 400. 70 is bigger than 23. So I need to somehow make that subtraction easier by taking and breaking it apart into two different subtraction questions. So I could do 10, 10, 10, 10, 10, 10, but that's going to take me a lot of time. So instead, I look at the tens digit and I realize there's 20. If I go back up to my 70, I know that 20 and 50 
equals 70. And that's going to make my subtraction a lot easier. So if I take 423 and first I take away 20 and then I take away 50, I'm still taking away 70. These two both equal 70, but it's a lot easier to do in my head. So 423 take away 20 is 403. And 403 take away 50, well I know that 400 take away 50 is 350. So 403 take away 50 is going to be 400 or 300 and 53. If I had started here and tried to take away the 70, it would have taken me a lot longer. But instead, when I break apart the 70 into a 20 and a 50, it makes it a lot easier for me to do. So now that I've taken away the 70, I can now take away eight. So I look at that three, and I look at the eight. I can't automatically see the answer, but I know I can break apart eight into two different numbers. I can break it apart into three and five. That makes my subtraction a lot easier. If first I take away three, to get 350, and then I take away 5, which is very easy, at 345. Now that I've taken away all of my numbers, I now have my answer. So 623 take away 278 is 345.